Hey everybody, it's DJ Jerry here with Shop Time, and we are going to give you a quick rundown on Editor in Show Express. So I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, when you open up your, when you double click on your icon, you're going to get your control board. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the switch right here, the little slider button. Um, you click on that, and it's going to open up your editor. Now there's a couple things I want to show you. Uh, in editor so you can kind of understand a little bit about um, how the system all works. So we're going to give you a quick, just a quick rundown um, on what all the options are and what everything does here. So, <coughs> excuse me. So to start off, um, you can see here, this is adding a new scene or creating a new scene. If you want to start from scratch. Uh, this is opening a scene. So if you already have a scene such as a door spot, which is one of the things that we really uh, we use probably the most out of every single event we do um, is that door spot. We always have to program a different door at a different location. So by using a door spot, we can click on that and we can find, um, uh, obviously this is the brand new, this is what we've been working on with uh, the tutorials here. But when you click on scenes, it's going to have all the scenes that you've already created. And I'll show you that a little bit. Um, but you can just open up that scene and it'll bring up the fixtures that you have selected for that. And it'll show you on the, um, on the palette board down here. So uh, to, let's see, open scene, save scene. So if you're, if you just worked on that scene and all you want to do is just do a direct save, you just hit that save and it'll save that in when you use uh, live, it will activate that as the new, um, the, uh, the new save that you created. Save as is if you're doing a brand new fixture or a brand new scene that you're creating and you have, say you have door spot, but maybe they're coming in another door as well. You can click on save scene as, and then you can put door spot two and then create that scene or create that button in live. So again, it, it's, uh, it's gonna be similar, you know, using the same fixtures and everything, um, but uh, just saving it as another step or if you wanna you call it that. Um, delete scene, if you're working on a scene and you wanna delete it, you can click on there. Generator. Um, generator can be kind of scary, but I can tell you once you understand Generator, it is one of the most amazing tools you can play with. And we'll walk through exactly what Generator does. Uh, DMX, if you have your dongle box connected and you want to actually uh, run your fixtures live, so if you're moving your red slider on your core uh, and you want to see that actually work on the fixture as you're doing it, then you need to make sure that this is activated green. That's a very important part of the process um, because if you do not have this activated your fixture will not do anything because it's not sending the signal out to dmx you're just doing all your programming in here um, so what as soon as you activate that it's now going to send signal to your fixtures and uh, it will actually make the fixtures uh, uh, make the fixtures work to whatever sliders you're moving 3d um, this is we talked a little bit about 3d but we'll go into more depth into 3d after a bit um, when you create your scenes, you know, all these fixtures are going to show up in your 3D view. And, <clears throat> excuse me, in that 3D view, um, you can actually see, again, so if you start moving this red slider, you're going to see in the 3D window, which we don't have open right now, um, which is right here. We don't have that open, but you'll actually be able to see that fixture react to what you're doing uh, in the on your sliders. Uh, the play button, basically, as soon as you hit play, it's uh, it's going through the steps here. So this is step one. Step one is five seconds. And obviously, it's going to repeat. As you can see here, once it hits to five seconds, it's repeating step one. Since we only have one step, there's really not much that it can do. So if you create a bunch of steps and you hit that play button, it's going to actually walk through every single step that you've created and every um, every. Uh, everything that you've done in your in your editor at this point so just to kind of give you an example a little bit about what some of this stuff is uh the pan and tilt the pan and tilt actually doesn't do anything unless you are using a fixture that has pan and tilt um, now i'm going to move this little red dot here this is zero zero um, basically that is showing this channel at zero and this channel at zero now these right here are the fines so the fine pan this is the fine tilt uh, now, when I move this, you're going to see those sliders on the X, Y, you're going to see those move around. And basically, as I scroll down, I'm moving the Y. As I scroll to the right and the left, I'm moving the X. So if you're doing positioning, uh, if you're doing a spot and you want to just, you know, utilize, uh, utilize this, this handle, 
um, that'll give you some opportunities to, you know, move it to the position that you want. Um, typically, I just usually recommend sliding the slider. It's a little easier. Um, as soon as you start messing around with this, then you've got your moving head flying in all different directions because it's really sensitive. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other tab here, RGB, CMY. Uh, this is actually if you're using fixtures like your Freedoms um, or your cores. So I just clicked on the Freedom here. And then if I want green out of my fixture, um, then you can just click on these areas here. Uh, we'll do the core, for instance. So if I want this orange, it's basically sliding those sliders to whatever, uh, whatever, excuse me, um, whatever these sliders need to be to create that color for you. Uh, so if I want blue, you're going to see the blue come up. You're going to see the other ones go down. Purple, you're going to see the blue and the red a little bit higher, and the green probably at zero. So just as an instance, um, you know, same thing with a with a turquoise look. You're going to have more blue and green and no red. Um, so this will give you a lot of uh, a lot of capabilities if you want to pinpoint a color uh, and you can see those handles move now and then also you can see the values that it puts to those right here uh, if you need that little little bit of hint um <clears throat> so that's what uh, the pan tilt the cmyk or cmy and the rgb panels are um that's uh, you know that becomes pretty helpful especially when you're working on steps and you only want certain movements to happen with your moving heads now this right here, um, this is the duration, this is the steps that you're creating. So you have step one. To add a step, you click on add step. To add a step anywhere in your sequence, you can click this. Uh, you know, you basically select, and obviously you need about, you know, three or four different steps to actually use this one. Um, otherwise, it's just going to put it right underneath. And then if you want to move a step up or down, you just use this button here. So we're actually going to go into more depth on the steps and the durations and things like that and how that all works uh, just because it really can be it's a great tool to use uh, and it can be kind of in depth uh, so we'll do a separate video on that um, you know we'd kind of talked a little bit about in the past uh, in some of the videos you know what this screen is for and basically it just shows you your your fixtures um, again so if we're if our setup is over here then we can just put this fixture here so when we're sitting programming um, and we want to select our left fixture, we just click on that. And then now we have all the controls for that uh, actual fixture. So again, uh, very simple, very easy. Uh, the all channels, basically when you click on all channels, it's going to give you all the channels that you are ha that you have. Uh, one, which you can see right here, all the way to 66, which is the last channel that you're using. Um, obviously, if this is a regular control board, you can see you have 512 channels but you're not using 512 um, all the way down to 67. Yep, 67. So we're not using any of those. That basically gives you a lot of opportunity to add more fixtures uh, as you are working with your, with your equipment. Uh, assign channels, um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is only gonna give you one through 66. And groups, groups is, is, a, is a cool thing. And I'm gonna, I'll do another video on that. I'm just kind of breaking down groups on how to create groups and what the purpose and, and the benefits are. Um, but groups is basically if I want uh, if I want a labeled freedom group. So instead of sitting here clicking on this, holding holding control, clicking on this one, holding control, clicking on this one, um, I can just come over here and then I can click on group uh, freedom parts, or I can click on moving heads and that'll select both of my moving heads at the same time. Um, so again, a lot of advantages to that as well. Uh, that's kind of the rundown on just the, the simpleness of the editor and, uh, you know, don't, don't overthink the editor. It's really not that scary. I know when you look at all these channels, you're thinking, oh my gosh, um, but don't, uh, don't overthink it. It's really simple. And again, we're going to break down exactly how the durations work. Uh, we're going to go over groups next. So make sure you watch that next video on how to create groups and the benefits of creating groups in show express. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, this is Jeremy. Uh, sorry, you can email me at jeremy at djjrshoptime.com and hope I can answer those questions for you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.